have been busy lately, but let's get into Weird Wednesday, shall we? Your Savia Boron Gonchavora. This teenager has defied doctor's reports and is living her best life with her supportive family in Florida. Life has not been easy for Versavia, as she was born with a very rare condition where her rib cage and abdominal muscles do not protect her heart. Her mom says that when she was pregnant, doctors told her that her unborn daughter wouldn't survive. Today, the teen is enjoying her life and doing all the activities anybody her age would do. She truly is a miracle, and I love the way she is, says her mom. And according to her, she is absolutely unique. She's one in a million. According to medical science, the condition that Versavia suffers from is Pentology of Cantrell, which affects only one in a million live births. While her heart condition doesn't deter her from doing normal things, she has to be really careful not to hurt her chest, as that could be very dangerous for her heart, which is fully exposed below the surface of the skin. She wears a chest covering to protect her vital organ from getting damaged. She spent a lot of time in the hospital due to her condition and sometimes needs an oxygen tank when her oxygen levels drop. Ever the vibrant and energetic girl she is, Versavia says she knows her condition has real risks. But that hasn't stopped her from living a normal life. Well, you know what else is normal? Sheep eyeball juice. Yep. Well, you could say in Mongolia that if you hit a hangover, you could have a bacon sandwich. Sure might work but in Mongolia they prefer to have Mongolian sheep eyeball juice that's right so they're gonna be taking tomato juice vinegar and sheep eyeballs and they're gonna put them together and this is an item that is in one of the disgusting food museums I don't know about you, but for me, I'd rather not drink. But here's looking at you, or let's look at some weird art. Animals can sense danger or sometimes things that are going to happen, but in northern Mexico, birds, which could often be associated with the apocalypse, were seen crashing to the ground, swarming in like a big thing of black smoke. Dozens were dead and not 100% clear on what was the cause, but experts do feel that a large predator had flushed them down causing them to be disorientated and smacking in the ground with nowhere else to go. So this reptilian mermaid type thing uh, was discovered off the Atlantic, basically the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, obviously it was found dead. Um, it has human and fish-like organs. Very creepy, not sure... Uh, if I want to say fake or real, I not I don't know. What is your thoughts? But definitely pretty creepy. Oh, this next one is pretty eerie. Check it what out. What the f is that sound? <laughs> you can hear that, right? Yeah. What is it? I've got no idea. We're up at Bonnie Down. Can't say anything, but I can certainly hear that. It's aliens. What the f is that?
That is weird. Oh, look, there's birds flying up there. Social media. It's not supposed to look like that in the night sky. The New York City skyline was mysteriously illuminated last night. It's a sky. Looks like the end of the world or something. With a glowing shade of blue. What's going on in NYC right now? Turning others to social media for answers. It's like the alien attack. It looked like a UFO coming from the sky. It was scary. Houston, Texas. Check out this security guard in the hospital or something talking to somebody on camera. But who is he talking to? Who is he talking to? Dispatch to 329. Yes, sir. Who are you talking to? Did you say Miss Abigail? Yes, ma'am. Miss Abigail is she she died two years ago. You mean you can't see the person I'm talking to? No, there's nobody in front of you at all. Thank <laughs> you.